Okay, working out in the uh, street today. Out front, too many cars, helicopters flying over. Perfect timing. All right, we got a 2003 uh, Ford Explorer Sport Track, four liter, crank, no start. Uh, first thing uh, that I did was, uh, well, I took the snorkel off the intake, sprayed some carb cleaner through the intake and the vehicle runs, so I knew I had a fuel pressure problem. Second thing, I checked fuel pressure at it and I had none, or hardly, well, looked like none. And then I decided we better look at the relay to make sure it was triggering and uh, it's right here. So I put my hand on it, flip the key on it, and I can hear it trigger. That does not mean that I have power to my fuel pump. So that relay configuration is uh, fuel pump relays right there in that box. I'm just gonna swap it for a known good relay another circuit understanding since the uh, relay is triggering we know we got power power ground and all those kind of things Now we got a tow truck. We'll check again. Alright, so we got relay triggering. We got no fuel pressure still. So I'm gonna check my connections in the back, but most likely this is a fuel pump. Alright, looking at the wire diagram back in the office there, you're going to see that fuel pump. You're going to see an inertia switch right here. Right there. Anyway, 12 volts through the relay, through the inertia switch out to the fuel pump. 12 volts on this lead. This is the gauge. We're not worried about that. And we have ground. So we have ground, we have 12 volts. We have ground, excuse me, 12 volts here, 12 volts there, and no fuel pressure. I checked it at the inertia switch underneath the driver's side kick panel. 12 volts coming across this. Confirmed fuel pump. We're in Florida, so I don't worry about rust and connections back at the tank. We'll look at that when we're there, but other than that, uh, we'll put a fuel pump in it and then start it and pick up from there.